The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family know that the real McCoys. Hey, Kate, hurry up with the dinner, will you? Every minute these extra hands has to wait for food is costing less money. Right, Paul, I'm doing the best I can. You get extra help with the harvesting. I don't see why I don't get some help in the kitchen. Kate, I can't find a pair of socks without a hole in them. Well, I don't have time to look for them now. There's holes in both my heels. I, I tell you, if my feet catch cold, I'm not going to be much... Later. <laughs> well, I can't harvest on my tippy toes. Hey, Grandpa's calling for food. You want socks? I only got two hands. Oh, Kate, this needs a button right away. Oh, not now. Not now. Can't you see she's busy? What about my socks? What about lunch? Why don't you sit down and eat? Well... I can't eat barefooted in front of my employees. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about, Luke? These fellas are all married men. <laughs> Haven't you finished eating yet, Amos? The truck's here. We're ready to load. You'd be right with you, Charlie. Come on, would you, Kate? Grandpa, I can only do so much. If people don't stop pestering me, I, I, I... Kate, what about the button for my shirt? I... <laughs> see what you've done? She's only got two hands. Kids nowadays just ain't got no consideration. <laughs> If you're tired, why don't you go on to bed? Mm, what about your socks, Luke? I've been holding out a town pair on you. I'll use them. Well, that'll do for tomorrow, but what about the day after and the day after that? Well, you have plenty of time for mending in. Oh, great, Paul. There ain't much time for anything. Cooking for extra hands and all. Well, can't Hassie chip in a little? Hassie's got a lot of schoolwork to do. Wait a minute. How about Charlie Osaki? Well, who's going to drive his truck? Hey, Grandpa, if you let me finish the sentence, I'll explain to you what crossed my mind. See, Charlie's family's got a young girl living with him. She just come over here from Japan, and she's looking for a little extra work. Yeah, but, uh, look, we can't afford no house help. The indoor's end is just as important as the outdoor's end. Well, all right, all right, but just for a week now. Good. I'll call Charlie Osaki tonight. He says she's a wonderful girl, speaks a little English and everything. All right, Luke, let's call it done. I hope she can cook something besides roasted bird nests and octopus's wings. <laughs> well, Grandpa, Kate will tell her what... Kate? Kate? Grandpa, she's dozed off. You know, Luke, there's something nice and quiet about a woman when she's asleep. Nico, this is Kate McCoy. How do? Luke McCoy. How do? And Grandpa Amos McCoy. How do? Hey, you speak pretty good English. How do? <laughs> she can say more than that, can't she, Charlie? Oh, sure. She's a little shy right now. Yeah, because you know there's got to be more to talk than just how do. <laughs> She's a delicate little thing. Sure hope she can stand the gaff. Me bit is strong. Oh, Nico's in great shape. Oh, you pay him no mind, Nico. Come on, dear. I'll get you an apron and show you around the place. She's a regular little doll. Yeah, sure. I swear, that's the prettiest little girl I ever saw. She is a gasser, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, and you're a John Ford if you don't snap onto her right now and marry it. Yo, Grandpa, hey, that's Charlie's business. I know, but it's about time Charlie settled down. He's got a good business, three trucks, and a good future. <laughs> Charlie, you're overdue for a wife. Hey, don't rush me, Grandpa. There's plenty of time. I'm in no hurry to get married. Yeah, well, we got a lot of work to do. We can't stand around here cupiding all day. Sugar, babe! 
Well, we're going out in the fields now. See you later, hon. All right. Bye, you and that. I'll do. <laughs> Undressing my feet. I saw it. Oh, but Nico, Nico, hey, Grandpa didn't mean nothing by that. I guess it's the way they do things in her country, Grandpa. Just go along with it. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Washington. Heard <laughs> of films if I say no? I reckon so. Wouldn't want to hurt no one's feelings. cookie jar. Luke, it ain't gonna kill you to walk two steps to get yourself a cookie. And when you finish, will you wash out your glass and rinse your plate, please? Oh, well, I've had a long day. Well, I've had a long day, too, and I've had a long night waiting on you hand and foot, and that's the least you can do. Oh, for... Are you gonna do it or ain't you? All right, I'll do it when I come back from the barn. Are you catching a chill? You're shaking like a leaf. Nico, fine. But what is it? Nico, I'm afraid for you. But why? For speaking back to man of house. What? Wait, you mean for telling Luke to rinse out his glass? It... Oh, that's just natural talk between husband and wife. It's different in Japan. Japanese women must respect man all time. Well, it's not like that here in America. Well, not that I don't respect Luke, mind you. It's, well, it, it, it's just a little more give and take. Not you give, he take? <laughs> both of us give and both of us take. Nico not understand American way of man and woman. Well, as a matter of fact, if I didn't stand up to my man now and again, well, he'd lose respect for me. Is so? Is very so. <laughs> Much to learn. Nee. 
Nico liked to ask Kate some many, many questions about American way. I'll tell you what. As soon as we finish folding the linens, we'll put our heads together and have a real hand session. We talk about chicken? <laughs> Just roosters. <laughs> Down over there, Charlie. Okay. Supper will be ready in a little while. <laughs> We're home, Nico. <laughs> Say, Charlie, better loosen your shirt there. Nico's washy raggies have to get your car all wet. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> It'll be, maybe a mind in the old country. Try her again. Go ahead. Nico, we're here. Dirty faces and tired feet are here. <laughs> Kate? Yes, dear? Is Nico in there with you? Uh-huh. Uh, good. Would you tell her we're home? Okay. <laughs> I guess it takes a little time to wet the washy rags and spread on the soap. Well, I'm gonna skip the washing. I tell you, every bone in my back is just crying out for them tiny little feet. <laughs> oh, Nico, you can trudge my back first. I've done most of the heavy work today. Have no time now. I don't mind waiting a little. It'll make it that much nicer. Come on, Nico. Let's get on the ball here. Yeah, we're all set. Nico. Nico, too busy. Tells me there ain't gonna be no washing or walking tonight. Yes, there is. Nico, we're waiting, Nico. Grandpa and Luke have had a very hard day. Nico have no time to wait on Mom tonight. I should know this is too good to last. Stay right where you are, Luke. Nico! Hey, now, take it easy, Charlie. It bugs me, Grandpa. And it calls for the old world bit. <laughs> Nico, I said come here this minute. Nico here. These are my friends. You have insulted them. Oh, now, Charlie, we ain't insulted. You have put me and yourself in disgrace. Is this the way the house of Naguro raises his females? You have shamed. Nico, no shame. Do no wrong. How dare you speak to me like that? Nanto you can get a car. Antony, on not to step back at the woman I got. Stop back and stop. Come in, Nasai. Sumi Masse. I sorry. No, I not sorry. Nico, American woman now. No more servant to man. Now, wait a minute. We in democracy now. Both give, both take. I cook, clean house, sew buttons. All good. But you big boy now, wash on face. <laughs> Nico, wait. Nico, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to... Nico, he'll be back. He will. Nico be all right. Just want to be alone, please. Well, Mrs. McCoy, seems like you've been buttoning in little. It sure does. You have to go and stick your nose in somebody else's business. Yeah. Just when we had a good thing going here, too. <laughs> What kind of stuff have you been telling her anyways? Luke, she just asked me some questions about how to act toward Charlie, and I, I told her what I thought, that's all. Well, you gotta watch what you say to these people. They got their own ways of doing things, you know. I was just trying to help. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. He could just make trouble.
I didn't hear nobody crying. It's not right for a Japanese woman to cry. It ain't, huh? It is a sign of complaining and unhappy. I'm a very happy woman. Yeah. Well, you don't look very happy. You said you didn't have a right to cry. Head of Regal House of Makoi not understand Japanese woman. Japanese woman is dutiful, patient, and good-natured. Nico smiling now. Yeah, yeah, I see you grinning with your teeth there, but I see a lot of dew coming down your cheek right there. You know, in this country, in special, this Regal House, as you call it, we got a saying called, get it off your chest. It means you spill it out of your mind and you'll feel better. Nico feel fine now. You, you kind of like Charlie, don't you? Maybe figure to marry him? That's it, ain't it? How did wise elder one know? Oh, them crickets told me. Don't you worry about Charlie. He'll be around. Nico in deep disgrace. I'm afraid Charlie never want to marry me now. Oh. Elder one not understand Japanese man. No, but I understand American men. Charlie Osaki's as much American as, as apple pie. Maybe a little boiled rice on the side, but not enough to make no difference. <laughs> now we're going inside and we're going to have a long talk. I'll think of something. You just leave it to Grandpa Regal Elder in the sea house. <laughs> Grandpa, is Charlie all talking? See, I told him. I told him he'd come back. He, he come back to punish Nico. He ain't gonna punish no one. Now you do remember what I told you and everything will turn out fine. I open now? No, not yet. And at first, you got to go someplace where you can't be seen and busy yourself. Nico not understand. Look, it's an old American custom that a girl keeps a boy's heels cooling for, for a spell, you see? And now we got to find some place to put you. <laughs> I just said it was none of your business. It was my business. I... <laughs> and put you in the air, they're talking business. <laughs> Charlie, hungry. Out to the kitchen. What I do in kitchen? Get powder your nose. No, so powder. Well, powder he is, but get. <laughs> oh, hello, Charlie. What are you doing here this time of night? Oh, well, uh, uh, I came by to check the truck for tomorrow. Oh, I see. <laughs> is Nico here? Who? Nico. Oh, the little girl. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess she's here someplace unless she stepped out to a movie with somebody. <laughs> Somebody? Who? Well, yeah, I don't know. I just hear tell that there's some rich fella come up in a big automobile calling. Who? I don't know. He's a, a, a doctor, somebody. He's a J Japanese dentist right here in town. Sit down. <laughs> Let's talk truck. I didn't know our town had a Japanese dentist. Well, maybe he ain't got a sign up yet. <laughs> Well, if she's out, I'll go. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Yeah, I didn't say she was out. I just said I hid. Now, now just relax and sit yourself down there. I'll go look. <laughs> oh, Nico! I come out. Fine, <laughs> Jim's here. Jackie's here to see you. Elder Sama Fosaki. Nico? Do you have something to say to me? Yes. Nico is sorry. <laughs> How are you, Charlie? I'm not too good. The last time I saw you, I was a little surprised. You weren't the Nico Nagura my family brought to this country four months ago. Well, you know the old saying, Charlie, when you're in Rome, be American. That's what I do say. What? What wise elder grandpa son say? Can't you speak for yourself? Well, she is speaking for herself. Nico like 50-50. A 50-50. <laughs> Nico like 
duty proposition in house. No more duty for patient, obedient, always smile servant. You made up your mind? That's the way it's going to be? It is way it is going to be, Charlie Osaki. Okay, baby. It's your kimono. <laughs> he not come back? He ain't over yet. Oh, elder son of Osaki. Whoops, hold everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, as long as you've decided to be American, this is how American couples make up after they've had a fight. Here. Will you forgive me for my anger? Oh, you forgive me? I wrong. No, no, no. I was the one out of line, blowing my top like that. Oh, no. I rude. No, no, no. You weren't. And disobedient. Don't be silly. Oh, look. Cut out this trying to out-polite each other. And ask the girl to marry you, Charlie, before this rich young dentist beats you to it. Nico? Nico is most honored to marry into family of Osaki. Oh, no more of that old world jazz. You said you were going to be an American woman. You know, Grandpa, I guess that's what I was really looking for, without knowing you. A real American wife. Oh, get with it, Charlie. <laughs> Dad, if Charlie will ever speak to that girl don't again. Don't you shout at me, Luke McCartney. Oh, women, I don't understand why you... <laughs> Sherry, I ain't to you. <laughs> <laughs> 